How's it going gamers, my name is Dan, and welcome back to Twitch Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a follower alert tracker for your streams on Twitch using an API called Twitch Alerts. As always, I'll timestamp the video in the description below to help you find the information that's most relevant to you. Twitch Alerts is a browser-based alert software that communicates with your Twitch channel and sends you an alert when someone follows, subscribes, donates, or hosts your channel. The API is relatively self-explanatory. But if you're new to these kinds of software, I'll be going more in depth on how to use Twitch Alerts effectively for follower tracking and other similar notifications. Before we get started with setting up the follower tracker, you're going to need to go to www.twitchalerts.com and in the top right corner of the window hit Launch Twitch Alerts. You'll be asked for authentication to allow the program to communicate with your channel, so just hit Authorize and you're good to go. Once you've done that, you should be on the Twitch Alerts dashboard. Twitch Alerts offers a lot of content within the API, so expect to see Twitch Alerts again in future videos. Everything we need for this tutorial is available on the Alert Box Widgets tab, so once you click Alert Box on the left hand side, you're ready to move on. Under the How To heading on the page, there is four checkboxes, as well as a URL and a launch button. These checkboxes are to toggle which notifications you want to track on your broadcast. You can leave all the boxes checked for now, but we're only going to be taking a look at setting up follower alerts. The setup format covered in this video is the same for hosting, as well as for subscribers if you're a Twitch partner. To get started, go ahead and hit launch on the dashboard, and by default a large chroma green window should open. This window is the space in which your follower alert will appear on your screen. For a demonstration, click the test follow alert button on your dashboard and you should get a test alert appear on your window. This is how your alert will look to your viewers, and can be completely customized to suit your broadcast. You're going to want to resize the alert box so it fits somewhere as its own window on screen before proceeding. If you only have one screen for your PC, or otherwise do not have the display space required for this alert box, this video will not be practical for you, and I would suggest checking out the Stream Labels widget from the Twitch Alerts dashboard, a subject of which I'll cover in another video. To customize your follower alert, scroll to the settings section on the page. From there, click the follow alerts tab and your old follower alert options should appear below. Ensure your follower alerts is enabled, and then you can start customizing your layout. The follower tracker has three parts to it. The image, the text, and the sound alert. The image, portrayed by the little running zombie gif, will appear in the alert window along with your message text when the alert is triggered. The alert can be laid out in three different visual layouts, with the image above the text, with the image behind the text, and with the image to the left of the text. You can test which layout you like best by selecting a layout, scrolling down to the Save Settings button, and then clicking the Test Follow Alert button once more. You are not required to launch and reload the Twitch Alerts box every time you make a change. Your alert also comes with alert animations for both appearing and disappearing, should you wish to customize your alert further. The message template allows you to change the follow message to better suit your broadcast, and the text animation allows you to change the animation of the text itself. Your accompanying image can be uploaded from either your local hard disk, or online via its direct URL link. The supported file types of the image are .gif, .png, and .jpeg. Your sound file can also be uploaded either locally or online via URL link. It must be either in an MP3, WAV, or OGG format. Your sound volume and alert duration can be controlled by the sliding bar below. Below the sliders, you can find the font settings drop down bar, which allows you to completely alter the font type, size, weight or thickness, text color, and highlighted text color. These extra options will allow you to personalize your alerts to fit your broadcast. Finally, below the font settings, there is an optional Alerts Variation setting which allows you to create variations of the follower tracker you just set up. Ensure that you hit the Save Settings button once you've finished changing your settings, and test the follower alert to ensure you are happy with them. Remember that your alert box must have room on screen to display the alert, otherwise it will not be displayed properly on screen. Once you have the alert box in a reasonable position, you're ready to move on. Now we are ready to add the alert box widget into OBS. With the widget window open, right click in the OBS Sources window and select Add Window Capture. From here you can rename the box if you wish. After hitting OK, in the Properties menu, 
Select the alert box widget window from the drop down bar and hit OK. You'll notice that the alert box still captures the borders of the window. And I remove this by clicking edit scene, making the box larger, and then cropping the window by using the alt key while dragging the corners of the box. Resizing the image allows for a more accurate border cropping and helps to avoid text cutoff. Once you have cropped the follow alert properly, you can resize and relocate the image to wherever you'd like to display it on your layout. Finally, we are going to enable the chroma. We left the alert with the light green background so that we could hide the alert box in the OBS window. To enable the chroma, right click your window capture for the alert box and select properties. Under color key, enable use color key, then hit select. From here, click on any part of the green background in OBS to enable the chroma for that color. And just to tidy it up, I also set my similarity to 10 and my blend to 60, just to take away some of the underlying tones of green on screen. Once you're happy with the alert box, ensure you leave enough room for it to show on screen, and make sure you don't resize the box once you fit it. Overlay the alert box over your gameplay and you should be good to go. Test your follow alert and it should be how you want it to display on screen. If that's the case, you're ready to go. I hope this video has helped you get your stream set up with an epic follower tracker for your stream. If you found this video informative, I'll hope you consider leaving a comment down below, as well as subscribing to see more Twitch tutorials in the future. I've worked really hard on providing comprehensive tutorials for you guys to share what I know with you and to help grow this amazing community. I wish you luck in your broadcasting in the future, and as always, thanks for watching. We're gonna make it.